But freedom of expression is not without his limit. Without limits, he added, "We owe it to ourselves. Um, we owe it to ourselves to act with respect for others and to seek not to arbitrarily or unnecessarily injure those with injure those with whom we are sharing a society and planet." Okay, here's the thing: if they don't like the cartoons, how is this injury? Okay, yo, yo, Justin. You're talking, you, this is the news. The reporter asked you about somebody that was just beheaded. Somebody was just beheaded. And you're using the word injure. You're, you, my, oh God. you're using the word injure. This is pissing me off, okay? Somebody was beheaded for drawing a cartoon. And you're using the word injure not to refer to the beheading. You're using the word injure to refer to the drawing of cartoons. Guys, this is why aliens don't talk to us, okay? Yes, Sarah, victim blaming, exactly. Yes, Katie, no one fucking gets injured over hurt, over hurt feelings. Guys, it's a fucking cartoon. And here's the thing. They, do, they get to not look at it. If somebody comes and like, if you're a Muslim and somebody comes like, look at this, look at this cartoon. You have to look at it, okay? I would be like, this harassment, cut it out. Like that guy who's showing a cartoon that you don't want to see, that guy's a criminal. That's harassment. They're showing you things that you don't like. Okay? But if you go and look for the... Oh, like, oh my God, I'm offended. Let's go. Let me go see look at this cartoon that is offending me. Okay? That's on you. That is on you. Unnecessarily injure. How is this? Like, you know... Do you know when you set that precedent, Justin Trudeau? Justin, Justin. <laughs> Justin. Do you understand that if this is the line that you're drawing... Look at this. He is so hypocritical. Look at the, several, the level of self-awareness. Because he's saying arbitrary hurt people, injure people. But he, what he doesn't realize is that he's drawing arbitrary lines. Because what is the definition of unnecessary and injure? Because if you want to set that precedent, then there is no limit to the limitations on freedom of expression. Because based on this standard, Justin, based on this standard, any line around freedom of expression could be justified as a line that stops unnecessarily unnecessary injury. Do you understand this, Justin? Any line that limits now, any limitation on freedom of expression can now be justified as something that stops unnecessary injury there is no limitation now to the limitations that you could introduce to freedom of expression and you Justin as the leader of a free country introduce that precedent to the planet thank you so much you goddamn fucking moron shut the fuck up already fucking hell We do not have the right for, oh, ooh, is that, did he just say we do not have the right? Okay, let me see. We do not have the right, for example, to shout fire in a movie theater, crowded with people. There are always limits. Dude, this limit, again, I'm telling you, these people, he's a prime minister and he doesn't understand this. This limit is a limit not because of an expression of idea. This is a limit that is introduced because of a limitation based on a different hurt and a it's not the hurt feelings of the crying out fire that introduces this limit again i keep telling you if you tell people that hey this cures cancer and it doesn't and you sell it to people because you're telling them it cures cancer that is a not that's not a limitation of your freedom of expression that's a different limitation a limitation the scams are illegal okay so there's no limitation that it's not your expression of words that is being limited. 
is the fact that you cannot commit scams that are limited. For example, let me see, let's say you're tied to a machine that is a voice recognition machine. And if you say a phrase, this machine is going to chop your head off. Right? I go to a room, I read the instruction to this machine, and you're tied to this machine. And as soon as I say a very unique set of words, the machine is just going to chop your head off. I'm going to look at you in the, in the eyes. I'm going to say those phrases, say, say the phrase exactly. And the machine take, you know, takes notice and your head gets chopped off. I just committed a murder if I do that. Okay? You're like, I can't go and be like, what? I just said words. I said words. What happened to freedom of expression? Hey, I just said words. I should be able to say any words. Like, no, you, you knew what this machine is going to do if you say these words. You just committed murder. We're not arresting you because there's a limitation of freedom of expression. We're arresting you for murder. Do you guys ha you understand how this works? There's, there's no limitation to freedom of expression being introduced. It's covered under a different law. Uh, the, uh, okay, so distancing himself from the position of French president. Oh, this, see? Macron is alone, alone in the world. Nobody's defending Macron. This, so again, this is why, this is why the French now hate us, the, the English speaking world, okay? Because they're looking around, they're, they're the only people right now that are standing on, on, on a global scale. They're standing in defense. They're the, the French are right now the guardians of enlightenment values. And they're looking around the world. They're looking at the English-speaking world for allies. And they see no one. And they see betrayal. They see abandonment. And then we wonder why the French hate. They hate us so much. Because we left them alone when they needed us to speak, speak on their behalf the most. Justin Trudeau, you failed. You failed the, cha the, the guardians of enlightenment values. When, they, when your voice was needed the most, you cowered away. You picked the side of Islam instead of France. Distancing himself from the position of French President Emmanuel Macron, Trudeau pleaded for a careful use of free speech. Fuck you. Fuck you, Justin Trudeau. Fuck you upright in the ass. Come on, look at this. If you do not go, you go, guys, when freedom of speech is being challenged, you do not be, you do not plead with people to be careful. This is the Majid Nawaz way. Park your principles. That's fucking bullshit. When, when freedom of expression is being challenged, you double down, you triple down, you quadruple down. I don't know what the next one is, but you do that, whatever the next one is. 